My parents allowed me to photograph them because they knew it would help me process what they were going through. And there's this other cute guy that was dancing around the room, making a ruckus, trying to sing, just trying to be the center of attention. I said, he's cute too. And it was your dad. Both of my parents were living and dying with stage four cancer. And as a photographer, I used you know, the tool that I knew and was familiar with. There were so many funders that I didn't even know, which was really amazing. I wish I could have shared that with my parents. <laughs> I'm trying to use photography to help people cure their misconceptions of Africa. We all have something to say through photography. When the, the ticker went over on Kickstarter and we realized that we'd actually been fully funded, that was, that was a huge affirmation to say that people had faith in, in what I was doing. Let's have everybody go, <laughs> <laughs> Having people see inside the lives of these beautiful couples, I think it can't help but, but make people more tolerant and loving, which is exactly what our country needs. Thanks to you, we're creating the largest archive of LGBTQ love stories. Thank you so much for supporting The Shot Project. I could not have done it without you. I hope to deliver the message that the preservation of special places like Yellowstone is a worthwhile effort. It couldn't have been done without you. We could not have done this without your help. We really couldn't have done this without you. It's communities like Photo Shelter bring these projects to life. I just want to say thank you. Thank you for caring about my family's story.